Thanks. So many of us got sticker shock on Friday when we opened up our paychecks. That's because we didn't make as much as we did just a few weeks before. So why is that? Joe Burt, the Oracle of Orlando, joining us live this morning to talk about this payroll tax that we saw in our paychecks. You know, we heard the president say, look, we're not going to raise the income tax on the middle class, but uh, uh oh, careful, because you are going to get your checks uh, docked a little bit. Well, good morning, Amy. Surprise, surprise in the newsroom. That's what I heard. Yep, it's affected everybody across the entire country, not just the top one percenters, but everybody. So the impact is what, everybody making 30000 or more, Joe? Oh, is that right? No, anybody, anybody. any 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 W-2 income. What's happened? Yeah, let's go back. In 2010, the government said, you know, we need to stimulate the economy, and they, the quick fix was is to reduce the payroll taxes, the FICA taxes, by two percent. So two percent less came out of your paycheck. Two percent less, of course, went into the Social Security trust fund, and for two years, everybody enjoyed a two percent pay increase, and now that's gone away. What is the reason for the government taking that away? Well, basically, if we don't fund Social Security, it's not going to be there for you. It'll probably be there for me, but for the younger generation, it's not going to be there. So if we keep rob robbing from Peter to pay Paul, you can pretty much count on Social Security disappearing. So it was a temporary fix. Neither the Democrats nor the Republicans addressed it. And come January 1st, everybody's taking home 2% less. All right, and really, for a lot of people who may have looked at that paycheck thinking, ouch, that was only one week into the pay period, well, no, right? Yeah. You have to remember that at $110,000 last year, Social Security stopped. So once your once your pay hit $110,000, you really got a bump because you didn't pay anything in the Social Security. Now January 1st, you start from scratch. The threshold for 2013 is about $113,700. So you pay your regular Social Security tax, but now you're paying 2% more than you did in 2010 and 20 or 2011 and 2012. Joe, so is there a fear that some people will now uh, maybe perhaps give a little bit less to their 401? K or start cutting back that this could potentially set us into another recession. Yeah, without question, Amy, I'm concerned that folks, of course, are going to be bringing home less money, have less money to spend, and particularly if you've been living up to the limit and not saving for your retirement is really a disaster because if you're only depending on Social Security, you're really going to have trouble. Social Security was designed as a safety net, not as a retirement plan. So please, listeners, viewers, for all intents and purposes, don't stop contributing to your retirement plan. Spend less and put that money in your retirement plan. It's good advice. I hope the people out there take it. Joe Burt, always great to see you. The Oracle you too, of Orlando. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for that, John.